Hi. So in today's video, I'll show you some expressions like how to animate expressions. Okay. So very very simple technique. Uh, when I say expressions, so you'll be using like uh, eyes, lips, all those things. And when we do lip sync, they're also same technique only. We'll be using for lip sync also for expressions also. So in this video, we'll give more important expressions. Okay. How to do expression animation? How to do eye blink? All those things. Okay. So before starting the subject, I just want to show you something like uh, before doing lip sync or any animation or expressions, you have to keep ready all the different type of lips. Okay, that is very very important because if I show one more file here, you can see some different lips here in my screen. See, so we have to prepare already like this ready lips first. Maybe happy lips. Uh, sad lips all these things we have to prepare first before doing this animation now how, how to do this first so you can watch a lot of movies or you can do some uh, uh, check your drawings and you can do some drawings like this or simply you can go to just google and I'll just search like images I'll say cartoon expressions so See, you can see here hundreds of drawings on cartoon exhibitions on Google. You can take some suitable image from here and just trace it and keep it ready as per your character. Okay, maybe there are hundreds of ideas. Just choose like you want like semi-realistic character, full cartoon character, realistic character. You can have all the different different uh, designs here. Based on this, you can create to your expressions chart. So see here, I have created all these different expressions. This first set. You have to create all these things before doing lip sync. Sorry, before doing expressions. Okay, now this is in a different file. We have to do this as a symbol, graphic symbol. Okay, there is a one more video, old video on symbols, how to create symbols, what are different type of symbols, all those things. You can check that video for symbols. But now, if I am doing symbol, I'll show you how to do a symbol from here now. So select all these things. Cut the layer, right click, cut layers, insert, new symbol, give name for this. I will say lips, okay. And here we will be taking graphic. There are three options, movie clip, button, graphic, we will take graphic. There is a one more video on other things, you can check that later. I will say okay. So now we have a new work area kind of thing here. Then again go here, right click, paste layers. Done. So now we are here inside lips. You can do double click again or just go to this arrow. Now you can see that our work is here. Right. Now I'll just go back to arrow. We are back to our work area, but that lips are not here, that layer only not here. So it will be there in library, windows, library. See, it is here, here. lips. You can just drag and drop it here. And you can give some F5 and you can check. This is about graphic. I think you already know about graphic. So better do like this graphic all the and, uh, lips different different drawings first next eye blink we need eyes are very very important in expressions maybe half closed full closed or like full open kind of thing i have made one small eye blink here you can check this i just close these layers and i'll just show you so this is a normal eye in this new layer i have taken this extra piece like half closed eyes like frame by frame then half close then full close then again open half open full open so we can like in one layer we are having this in one more layer we are having eyeball if you want you can move this eyeball also in new layer I have made this lid eyelid again this is like eye blink you can have it as eye blink like continuously moving or you can take like single frame whenever you need it like this okay so this also I will make a graphic now I will select all these three layers I will say cut layer go to insert new symbol graphic eyes okay just paste here paste the layers and just see okay our animation is here now back to scene so where is it now it will be in library go to library see there are eyes so you can just bring it here and you can check your animation done these two things are very very important before going to the main file so I'll close these two files because I already done this graphic. So you can see here this is the main character here. 
I'll close the library everything. So this is already a graphic now. You already seen how to make a graphic. Even the lips are same. I'll take just one frame first. I'll remove extra frames. So if I go inside eyes, you can see there is animation here. Same what we done before. Same thing with the lips. If I double click on lips, you can see all the different different type of lips. So this is very very important. Now in this case, we are going to animate only eyes and lips. Okay, there are diff different type of rigs, uh, production rigs. Maybe like uh, you can control each part separate separately. That things we we'll late learn later. At this point, basically we learn this simple lip sync first. Okay, so for this we need graphic. Already we know now what is graphic and how graphic works. That's also very important. I'll show you that example just taking this eye. I'll show you how graphic works. Okay, now I'll go to some frames. I'll take some 30, 50 frames. F5. Now I'll go to properties, windows, properties. In properties, if you come down here, click on this graphic. It is written here looping. This part is very, very important as to do animation, expressions lip sync everything this part is very important now just check this eye i'll take only this eyes and i'll remove all these things keep it side one second so i'll just take this eye and i'll explain you how this graphic works now if i go inside this eyes there are we are having some 25 frames right from fifth frame that lid closes starts here like 10th frame full close then again open done I'll come back to scene. Now when I click on I, here we are having some options. First option, play graphic in loop. So if I click this, just check only eyes. I'll move all other things aside. I'll just keep other things aside. We we'll just work on eyes to understand this. So if I click on that first one, it says play graphic in loop. So if I play, okay, I'll be looping. 30 frame animation it will be looping if i give more frames again it will be looping done second option play graphic one so if i click this only one time will have i blink last option very important option third option play single frame from the graphic now it is asking which frame we are having 20 to 25 frames in that this 5 6 up to 15 very important frame so it asks is asking you which frame if i say first see there is no animation only first frame will be there because we already told here play single frame for the graphic so only first frame will be playing if i say 5 this one say it will play only fifth one no other frames will play there okay go inside and check the 10th frame or 11th frame will be full close so if I click on this, I'll say 10, type 10, done. So no other frames are working here because we have chosen this single frame, play single frame for the graphic. So this is very, very important. So if you want full animation, you can come here, loop, and I'll say from first. So that animation will start from first frame because we have taken the first option like this. If you don't want animation, you want particular frames, then you can go here and ask, check Okay, this is one simple one same thing I'll show you with the lips again so because this little complicated thing and you should know this better before doing animation so we just replace this eyes here on same position or you can just copy paste and just keep it no problem now same thing I'll show you with the lips because these are very very basics now I have taken lips if I go inside you know there are so many lips First half they like happy lips, then sad lips. I'll come back, I'll click on this and same thing. See if I say first option, play graphic in loop. If I click this, you can see full lips are moving. That, 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 that it will be moving. If I go to second option, very important you have to click on the graphic, then only you can see this. So second option is same, play graphic once. If I go to last one, what does it say? play single frame you want first one it will play only first there is no animation now because we have told them to play only one on from this keyframe till you have one more keyframe done now i'll go to 15th frame i'll say f6 like keyframe and you can change it here i'll go here and i'll say play play graphic one so first there is no animation 
then you can have full thing so these keyframes are important only in the keyframe you can change the uh, options here right okay now oh, one more thing so this is the basic thing how uh, graphic helps us to do lip sync or expressions i'm just control z now there is one more option if i click on this here frame picker in latest version this is frame picker is there in old versions only numbers we what we used to do like we go inside this and we'll draw all these expressions in a small paper or like notebook and we used to write okay page number 1 we have close lip page number 2 we have little open lip like drawings we used to draw all these things and we used to keep it aside before doing animation but latest version there is option called frame picker if you click this you can see here you can see like in which frame which lip is there very simple see so you want 16th done you want 30th just click on the lips see automatically it is changes you want 16th one 16th so this option is very good latest options so you can see all the drawings here with the frame okay so frame one number 2 half close frame number 8 like full open uh, frame one number 9 like o kind of thing so you can see all these things here done so this is the basics now before starting lip sync now we'll start this i'll just start the expression part so again back to frame i'll just keep it exactly on frame wherever we need it chalo now we'll control this okay i'm not going to use layers and all because this is first class uh, so not much complicated thing very very simple now keyframes very important maybe first frame you want this thing done select the eyes i'll say frame picker first okay there is no eye blink now click on lips i'll say first so there is no animation again same this eye no animation if you want eye blink click and say play once again same thing with the one more eye so you can see only eye blink is there now it is opening i'll give some more frames f5 done like this you can control okay simple you want some expression now click on this go to frame picker just check which expression you want you want this done see you want to change somewhere go here press f6 or keyframe and click on the lips again you which one you want to change this one see it is changed see so only on keyframes you can change this is the concept this is again second level so first level you have to create separate graphics second level you have to keep everything bring it in one page and just keep it like this just check click on the graphic check these options okay next level i'll go to one more step now i'll what i'll do i'll distribute these two layers right so it is easy to control so you can control eyes separately you can uh, control lips separately so how it how, what to do that now if you check this character we have this hair separately so we actually we can move on the but we are not moving ears are separate we are not moving at this particular uh, class i'll be working only on these eyes lips and these eyebrows okay so select whole thing and i just deselect all these things first eyes and lips other things just group it send it to back okay now if i check see that whole body is in one group eyebrows are in one group these are separate separate done now i'll say distribute to layers again this also there in my many videos i have used this right click distribute to layers now simple so that head is in separate layer lock this right eye is here left eye is here front lips and eyebrows all are different different one so you can control separate separately okay now we'll start from eyes we'll give first one eye blink so click on this eyes yes play once so how many frames are there for eye blink there are 15 frames that is enough for us so come back and it will play only once i'm just working only on eye blink so it is working here i'll give one f6 here and i'll say click play only first frame from here from 15th frame till 15th frame we are having one eye blink then it stops here from here only single frame same thing with the one more eye i'll say one single frame one done now you are having only one eye blink see first we are having eye blink and there is no extra eye blink because we have we told them we are told like only one frame you are going to animate we don't want full eye blink see now 
65 frames still there is only y blink one eye blink there is no eye blink again okay if you want only half eye somewhere here click on f6 for both eyes now click on the eye which you want we want half eye first frame picker i'll take this same thing with the one more eye click on that particular frame select eyes take this see so you can control now so first there is eye blink then no eye blink like we have taken like single frame then in single frame only we need only this half eyes depends on storyline now don't ask me why here half eyes depends on storyline you can change or you want one more eye blink no problem click on this and say loop like from first so you'll have one more eye blink here click go back to first option one done so now check so first you are having one eye blink then stand then one more eye blink it's a looping because we have given the loop okay so please understand this concept very very importantly now we'll go back to expressions i lock all these things i'll go back to lips now so same we need this frame picker here very very important one second so we don't want properties we like keep this properties panel here i'll keep frame picker here now maybe first frame you will want close lips click click on this because here option is first like only first frame done suddenly you want to change the expressions go here press f6 like key frame then take what which lips you want click on the lips okay you want this lip or this lip automatically it will change see done so again you want to change some lips click here and click on the lips and take this frame picker search for what type of lips you want to give expressions you have to say like huh like this what it you want still more bigger one when the eye opens f6 just again search the lips you which one want maybe this or this even you can change the size no problem because we are working on the frames right see huh kind of thing like this you can control each lips second i'll take this okay so like this you can control each lips like i go here which are expression you want to take you want eye blink you take eye blink you want to move only lips move the lips maybe i'll go here i'll press f6 and just check for the, some other sad lips maybe suddenly like this lips you want ha huh. what happened from here to ha huh. again at this point you want to like half eyes then click on the same frame f6 and click on eyes and take like half eyes closed like this even in this can change like ha huh. kind of thing you want to move eyebrows just move this eyebrows also because it is in different layer you can move eyebrows also this is a simple way to work on expressions clear so first step you need to create all these lips like this first even in the eyes any other elements you have to create first and make it as a graphic and once everything is here just click on that particular graphic and here single frame looping all those things and when you say single frame this frame picker this will help you done so this is the easy way to do the uh, expression same way we are going to do lip sync also maybe next video i'll work on lip sync so till then bye bye keep practicing thank you